Hey guys, this is a video tutorial on how to edit command aliases in AutoCAD. I'll show you what I mean. Basically, by default, if I type C, it activates the circle command. I have to type CO to activate the copy command. In a given day, I use the copy command way more than I use the circle command. What we're going to do in this video, I'm going to change my circle command from C to CI, and then I'm going to change C to copy. To do that, we have to go to our PGP file. So go to the Manage tab, click Edit Aliases, click this button, and this opens a notepad file. To make things easy, I'm just going to copy one of the commands here. Let's copy circle. I'm going to scroll all the way to the bottom of this file. If you want a bit of insight into what we're doing, you can read this paragraph. But if you just follow this tutorial closely, this will work for you. So I'm just going to paste that right there. I'm going to change this to CI. So the basic uh, convention here is you have the command alias, a comma, some spaces, it doesn't matter how many, an asterisk, and the, then the full name of the command. So to make an alias for co copy, all we have to do is C, comma, copy. We save this file, close it. Now you notice the command alias isn't updated yet. If I type C, it's still circle. So I'm going to teach you a command that will prevent you from having to close and open the drawing or restart AutoCAD. It's re-init. Check this box right here and click OK. So now when I type C, the copy command should come up. And it does. So to help you get the hang of this, I'm going to show you how to add one more command alias. This one's going to be really useful as well. So we go into Edit Aliases, scroll to the bottom. I'm going to make SS my command alias for a command called Select Similar. Save the file, close it, and type re-init. This is so I don't have to close and open AutoCAD or the active drawing. If I select one circle and type SS, it selects all of them. It selects all similar objects. One important thing to note about editing command aliases, especially if you work in an office, you have to make sure that your PGP file is on your local computer's hard drive, not on the server. It's beyond the scope of this tutorial. You'll have to ask your uh, AutoCAD manager or server administrator, but that's just one thing to keep in mind before you edit aliases. If you want to find out where your PGP file actually is, if we go to Edit Aliases, all you have to go to do is File Save As. Don't actually save it. Just see the folder that opens up when you click Save As. That'll tell you where this PGP file is. So there's some easy ways to fix that if, if you have a central PGP file located on the server. This is important because if it's a central file, it means everyone is using the same PGP file. And that means when you edit an alias, it'll edit everyone's aliases. So you'll have to be careful of that, but only if you're working in an office. Usually AutoCAD is set up to have the PGP file set up on your computer's own local hard disk. If you found this helpful, definitely check out some of the other videos on my channel. Thanks very much for watching.